goes through all this piping and it pulls up the rope and it goes through the box down there and it goes into the car. Seventh grade science students at Edison Middle School were issued a challenge. Armed with only eight marbles and five miniature wooden ramps, their task was to create an obstacle course of sorts for their marbles to travel through. <laughs> Creative innovations and clever energy exchanges weren't just fun to watch, but fulfilled the educational goals of the science and technology magnet school. I put uh, tin foil on the batteries, so when the metal balls hit the batteries, it makes the fan work. That's amazing. As an inter interdisciplinary school, one of the things that we do is we have this overarching scientific inquiry that drives all of the disciplines. The students can take these fundamental principles that are factual and reproducible and can be demonstrated in experiments, and now we begin to see the human impact, and so our understanding of narrative and conflict can be built up using some of the same fundamental principles that they're getting in science class. Yeah. Uh, so, to me, that's the home run. Like, well, I'm kind of happy that it worked because it doesn't like work all the time, so like it was. I feel happy. I looked like first time I looked around my house just to see like what spare things I had, and like um, I found the pipe, so I thought so I started thinking about what I could do with it, and I just I don't really you know I just thought of it. To me, elegance is uh, very often very simple. What I saw over here was a very simple one that had a, a funny comic element with the fish. A simple funnel where a, a machine, a very simple machine, can create a dramatic, interesting visual effect. So I like the simpler ones myself. They're demonstrating their ability to show what they're learning in school, pure academic concepts, but in a way that fires their imagination. That's why we're here.